My name's Emma. I'm the School and Youth Programs Manager at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here today for another Art in Action BIMA from Home. Today we have another episode of our clay series. I'm going to be talking about building coil pots. So we've made pinch pots, we've experimented with scoring and slipping. Coil pots are a really natural next step, whether you're working with air dry clay or uh, with natural clay. So follow along and we'll get started. So to start out, you're going to be making the coils for your coil pot. Um, a coil pot is constructed only out of coils, so you'll want to start by rolling a really long, thin snake like this by rubbing it between your fingers or um, against a surface. And then you're ready to start coiling. So I am scoring one side of my coil and then having that be the interior of my spiral. And I'm just spiraling it up and smoothing it with a little bit of water as I go. I'm applying some slip to the scored part of the coil um, to kind of act like glue as I'm building up my structure. And now you can see I've moved on from making the base up to vertically coiling it. So coiling the body of the pot up on itself, kind of like a spring, um, except we don't want any space between the coils. We want to make sure that it's nice and solidly in there. So here's my pot with just one coil, and I want to make it something that's a little bit taller, so I'm going to roll out another coil here. I'm trying to make it about the same thickness as the previous one. And then you just repeat the process. So scoring and slipping as you add the next coil. get to the end of your coil you're going to want to make sure that you'll be able to kind of lie it flat on the top of your vessel on the top of your pot or cup um, so I just cut off a little wedge here and then I have a little bit of a tail to attach to the cup okay so there's my pot and all the next steps are just about um, how perfect you want the cup to look so you can go back in with a wet finger or a dry finger or a tool and start smoothing out the interior of the cup if you want to. Um, this can make the coils a little bit more secure and give you a smoother surface on the interior of the cup. Um, some people might even want to um, smooth the exterior of the cup, um, but I kind of like that, that natural coil shape to it. So I'm just going to flatten the bottom a bit and um, then add some decorations to the exterior. So for my decorations, I'm just using the end of a toothpick to make these dots all over one side, and then using the side of a toothpick to get a kind of vertical line shape um, on the bottom here. So that's a coil pot. I hope you enjoyed following along and that you'll have a chance to make something like this at home. It's a really great um, technique to experiment with and we'll see you next time on BMA's Art in Action from home.